5 million USTC bounty to repeg USTC and bring back glory days to the Luna Classic ecosystem. Welcome back guys, it's Rocco here with the weekly Luna Classic video. I'll start off today's video by talking about the USTC bounty plan. This could be huge guys for a team that is interested in working hard, repegging it, stabilizing it and could potentially have a big payout. So we'll discuss that plan guys. USTC is what made Luna special that made Luna one of the biggest cryptocurrencies in the world that is our unique selling point it's not easy guys but if we can start the repeg process I'm not saying we repeg to USTC next week next month but if we can just start the repeg process guys it will bring back a lot of hype attention builders investors to our chain so I really hope we can go somewhere I'll discuss that to start off the video there's other stuff really important stuff to talk about the KYC prop so I last week I did a uh, spaces just talking about kyc for me guys i want to focus more on on building you know uscc juris protocol burning with through terra casino and then some of the other meme coins the projects that are being built on luna classic but kyc is an important factor for the community so there has been a really good proposal up on um on, on on finding a middle ground between you know people just saying no to kyc and people saying yeah everyone has to be kyc before they can work on chain so i think that could be hopefully you know bring some calmness because there's been lots of arguments and you know different sections of the lunar classic community so hopefully this proposal can bring the community together uh, then big updates on Juris protocol so that's a, a project that i'm part of guys if you've checked my post last week it's up really nicely so up about 25 percent since that post guys so it's looking really good i'll also talk about what's been happening with the project and this chart look, chart was just looking good we had a crazy rally to 10 million and now guys we're up about 25 30 percent the chart is looking good with some nice updates we could hopefully get a push up towards back towards that 10 million I'll do live demo for Terra Casino. If you watch my uh, last video, I discussed it, guys. I was going to uh, make a uh, Terra Casino video. Terra Casino is one of the big burners, guys, on the Luna Classic chain. I partnered up with them. If I get 100 likes on this video, guys, I will do a $100 giveaway on my next video. So make sure you hit that like button. I think last video got about um uh, 70 likes so hopefully we can get to 100 likes i will do a live demo guys i'll play some games live every every play actually burns luna classic um so this is you know we, we shouldn't just be waiting for binance um to burn uh, a luna classic we should be trying to have activity and have on-chain burn so you know trading jurist trading a uh, garuda or other projects other meme coins tokemon at uh, terra uh, tr trading on terra port we burn luna classic terra casino is another project Project where you can burn at uh, Terra, uh, burn Lunk on every trade, and we need to be burning Lunk on chain, guys, through activity, not just wait for Binance and other people to burn. So I'll do some live trading. This is a really nice um a casino uh, i've tried it out so i'll do some live at the end of the video as well so that that might be something very interesting and like i said make sure you hit that like button we'll try to uh, get a hundred dollar giveaway in the next video tax tax to gas testnet so i'm happy with this update guys so uh, genuine labs uh put up a vote which which a lot of people didn't agree with uh, but they have said that they'll test it make sure it works before they put a spend proposal up and then finally i'll end the video with my technical analysis for luna classic luna classic is pumping guys and it could get another rally and hopefully kill a zero so make sure you watch the video till the end i'll start to start off today's video with the most important or the the topic that excites me the most which is the repeg plans so it's been made by nb crypto and and the, basically the plan is guys so i'll read this out for you terra a classic community is in pursuit to restore the state the stability and value of ustc hereby announces a bounty of 1 million for the development of a flawless system to repeg ustc to its intended one dollar value this proposal outlines the requirements process and expectations for this initiative and there's lots of requirements so there needs to be stability so we don't just want to uh, you know do something crazy to pump it to a dollar and then just get sold off uh, there needs to be security so you know there's lots of issues with the exploits at uh, DeFi vulnerabilities we want to be you know transparent this is an open ledger a decentralized cryptocurrency open blockchain we want decentralization then it's through the right economic incentives as well so you uh, ust and luna had a something cool going on i know it didn't work it wasn't fully backed you know it was algorithmic stable coin and people 
found you know where it comes to the securities people found a way to exploit that and dump ust and you know mint lots of uh, uh, luna to to dump the ust and uh, dpeg the coin it needs to be scalable as well so we want to be able to deal with lots of high transactions and if you think about the burn tax as well it will burn a lot of lunar classic and interoperability as well so include a white paper playing the mechanics of repack system there will be like evaluation criteria again this is just an initial prop uh, initial proposal the award was discussed to be just 1 million but we did a big spaces and we discussed this in a lot more detail and we've actually decided to put it up to 5 million so the payment structure could again these are all this all can be changed there'll probably be a a, a proposal up uh, uh, in, in the future and this could be the payment structure could be 1 million to be paid up front after the code code has been audited and initial uh, implementation the remaining 4 million will be paid monthly installments at the end of each month contingent of the system ongoing success in maintaining the chain if I want to summarize this, this is a really good initiative, and and uh, you know hopefully someone sees this and brings and brings their expertise and works on our chain and you know wants to repeg UST. But this is just a prop. We need actual an idea, a, a repeg plan. So this is a great start. And you know uh, NB Crypto has actually started reaching out to some people. I've sent a couple of DMs as well asking people, are you interested in something like this? But we need to back a plan and work on it. So one plan we've seen um, from Duncan, again, he joined the spaces. Big shout out to Duncan, a very smart guy. Um, go watch the spaces if you haven't. So uh, him, myself, uh, Lunatic, um, Redline joined, NB Crypto. We had a really good discussion on, on USDC and had some good feedback. That's a longer format. If It's like a podcast if you want to go listen to it. But just to summarize, adjust L1 to function as collateralized debt. So CDP supply issuer for Terra Stable. So this is you know going to be backed. Enable swaps between Terra stables according to the oracle finance uh, build an l2 perp forex perp uh, perps market so that here you could actually have like a little forex so we've discussed this with someone called faffy previously this could generate huge interest i think it's a very good concept so you know maybe uh, euro euro tc and ustc and there's going to be lots of other coins and you can swap them generate a lot of interest of those um, of those different currencies and cryptos so i think that's a really interesting concept i would really love to see that happen and accept the reality like there's not going to be a perfect plan i know i push this a lot and a lot of it is just talk i'm not you know i'm not a moon boy so if i tweet i tweet link to a dollar and a, a, a you know a shit post and joke but you know i want to actually see the USTC repeg plan i don't want to just you know just be talking about it in the next year or the year after each day we delay it the 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 less likely it gets that we're going to have success the community gets smaller people start looking elsewhere and i've invested in other projects other people will look at investing oh Aave is going up oh there's meme coins on solana i'm going to go buy that so we need to take action and not just talk and there's not going to be a perfect way there's always going to be risk but the community needs to pick one and and work towards it and get it to work so i think this is really important i really like that point that duncan made so hopefully we see something we i mean the dream would be a, a group of developers who's worked on something before maybe you know usk or like a polka dot there's a, a team of builders there that's worked on stable coins or on cardano hopefully one of them sees this bounty and wants to help us out and also you know make money from from the chain because imagine if USTC goes anywhere towards one dollar how big could that could be how, what would the price be for luna classic again um, i'm shilling you hopium hopefully it's not just hopium and i'm and and we see some actual work and not all talk so i'm really excited to see what happens keep pushing it guys hit that like button and subscribe if you know someone that's building share this video with them and um, share it with your friends share it on your twitter retweet what i've tweeted retweet duncan redline we need to get the word out there community is a big strength of the lunar classic and we need to leverage on that so hopefully that makes sense i tried to cover it in five ten minutes go watch the uh, 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 spaces that we did uh, lunatic and, and myself do these spaces every week go listen to that if you want to find out more on what's happening and um, the the tax to gas the genuine lab so they have actually i think not admitted to their mistake there has been some uh, concerns a uh, fat uh, frag uh, our co-founder for for uh, jurist protocol he's also raised some concerns so it's not really it's not been great how they've dealt with stuff lately but i'm happy that they've come up with this again i don't want to go attack genuine labs we've seen that before in the luna classic where people are fighting amongst each other i'm happy that they've listened to the community so if you read my post uh, i got a post out about them earlier today 
um you know this is the way forward test uh, tax to gas on rebel net so they're going to test it on a rebel net upgrade accordingly on the feedback and the concerns of the builders of terra classic communities so stratco and frag who are actual builders dev they can hopefully you know the feedback that they're sharing that uh, genuine labs listens to that at uh, terra civita terraport as well they're building uh, they've got the you know community decks as they call it uh, listen to their feedback and then implement it after tax to gas is successful implementation get paid we want to get you paid but you know make sure that is implemented first and that's what they've said after tax to gas is implemented a spend prop will go up and the spend prop that went up now they've asked to disregard it so i'm happy to see that they've done that maybe they can improve in the communication but i want to support them uh, tax to gas will be useful for the chain um, so that was another key point I wanted to talk about. Let's move on to the next topic, which is the KYC. So uh, I really like this proposal, guys. So some people are like completely KYC or you can't work. Some people are saying that it has to be um, uh, KYC to work. Or some people saying if you don't KYC, you can't com work at all. But there are, you know, non KYC contributors not permitted to directly commit to code to the Terra Classic repositories. But this is crypto, guys. This is decentralization. We, we don't want to like like stop contributors working on the chain so um, um this the strat calls um point that the, he's saying is that we could review the code so there are smart people here so you know uh, and min so there's a couple of people that i know so frag uh, renzo stratco uh, these guys can actually check the code of people so the kyc requirement could be only governance past kyc providers will be recognized for this process to add an additional third party kyc provider it has to be approved via a governance proposal current governance kyc providers are certic and solidproof.io this proposal supersedes contribution rules from the previous past kyc related proposals so i am really happy to see this guys i want to have a middle ground and and not just say that you know kyc you can work not kyc you can't work that could stop and that's my understanding guys again i've not delved too much into this i'm more excited about building something exciting and bring people back up but this has been a really important talk talking point we need to respect governance um, so we need to follow what people are saying in governance and governance has previously said that kyc is important so i have to respect that let's see what this new proposal uh how the feedback from the community is for me i like to see a middle ground where there is kyc but if people that are not kyc then their their code or their their work that they're doing is actually checked and audited before it goes live so there can't be any you know bad people or evil people making something you know making something go wrong so I'll end it on that note because I don't want to delve too much into this. I'm more passionate about what's happening in the project. So guys, let's talk about some price and numbers go up. So Juris Protocol is prices going up. From a charting point of view, it looks like it's a nice breakout and it's pumping. From news point of view, there's a couple of things that is happening. So I am discussing with some centralized exchanges to list Juris. One of the things I'm thinking and talking to Lunatic about is do we want to get this listed on a centralized exchange now or do we want it when the bull market's here when we've got um you know the test net for juris protocol people can go out and play you know they put their money in do some lending and borrowing what do you when do we want to do you want to time it at a bull market or do we just work on it and you know have it listed on a centralized exchange so that's uh, one again i'm open to feedback any uh, things that i'm sharing in this video if you have any feedback do let us know in the comment section below and, and especially on Juris protocol what do you guys think we should be focusing on for me i think our 110 percent should be going into building that test net with the dev in terms of the building uh, uh, work again listen to the spaces listen to the horse's mouth a lunatic he updated us and he said that He's expecting to get the notary back uh, to have his DEFCO set up, LLC DEFCO set up in the Netherlands and he can uh, pay the developers in the right way, not just, you know, some handshake or a telegram message do it in the proper way with the right contracts get the dev paid and we can start building the juris lending protocol which is probably one of the most bullish things to happen to luna classic but from a charting point of view i like this breakout as long as we sort of don't trend change back below maybe the 4000 level i'll be expecting higher prices and maybe around here again i'm holding her juries and I'll, I'll, i won't sell that i bought around two three million and um, it's got some team tokens as well we're not looking to dump them but in the short time frame that could be the profit 
profit target for you if you want to look to take some profits so that's jewish protocol guys at uh, terrapod there's lots of meme coins you can go trade um uh, tokemon and uh, there's like a few other meme coins that are being launching um jewish here as well again uh, go support projects that are being built on uh, on luna classic terrapod are building they're, they're building launch pad being bringing liquid staking and that those are all exciting and we want to be burning on chain like i've started talking about with terra casino so guys i discussed terra casino what terra casino does in my previous video today i thought let's actually play um play the game uh, play some games live so i've put some money in so i'll play two games so i'm i'm not a big gambler but i do like roulette so when i'm out and about i've played roulette before so let's actually play roulette um have i got some luna okay i do have some luna uh, classic on this chain so um if you want to play it so let's click real play and i do like the platform so if you look at it it does uh, look really good i don't know which one shall we play let's just play auto lightning why not actually i want to play the other one uh let me go back i want to play emperor roulette so um what number shall we pick Let's pick 32. Oh, next game. But it, it, it's a really nice platform. Like I, I when I first started playing it, I was like, um, what will the platform look like? Will it look very professional? I'm quite happy that it is very professional looking. It's happened 19. Have you guys got any tactics to play this? Okay, I am gonna go 32. Like it, a lot of people don't even know that we have got a casino and there was a really funny i should tweet this um um one comment in my previous video was that someone i said um i was talking about terra casino and and this lady i'm assuming said that oh my now my husband rather than losing money and giving money to the casino people uh, my husband can lose money and um <laughs> and burn some luna classic so if you're going to gamble anyway why not gamble on luna classic oh no it was literally just next to mine 15 okay that didn't work very well and let's play another game so again um i said that you guys can win this bonus as well um usd so make sure you hit that like button 100 likes and next youtube video we'll do a, a giveaway and you can play some of these games for free and if you win some you could potentially make some money as well and all these uh, trades are actually burning luna classic as well so let's do a quick coin flip so we are crypto we are degenerate gamblers let's do some uh, gambling here so heads or tail i want to pick heads Ah, oh, tails, right? Let's bet again, right? What's the so? Is it is it the is there a rule where you can like um, you always double your bet? Again, I'm not a gambler. I know I read it somewhere. Like if you keep doubling your bet until you win, hey, there we go. We just made some money. So <laughs> I'm happy that I won it because I wanted to record it in one take, and it's good that we won something. But no, this is a live play, guys. It's sports betting. So I'm a Spurs fan. I I took some bets on sports. I usually bet on Bet365 in the UK. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna use the uh, Terra Zone, our own casino, and bet some money. So I use sports. But there's lots of other games. There's live casino. There's slots. Maybe in the future we can do like a fun poker tournament or something like that that could be quite fun if you have any ideas uh, let me know in the comment section below but that's the video guys it's slightly longer i try to keep these videos to 15 minutes but there's been lots been happening and uh, there's other projects as well if i've missed anything do comment below guys i want this to be a weekly luna classic video where i can cover everything that's happened but these were the key things guys so the bounty repack program the kyc juris protocol Terra Casino, which I've done a live demo and, you know, burned some Luna Classic for you guys live on the video. Tax to Gas Testnet from Genuine Labs. Finally, we'll end it with a price prediction. So I'll look at the high time frame for, for Luna Classic. So on the monthly time frame, again, that's what, how I like to trade from high time frame. We're above previous month. So we're almost uh, closing above previous month, which is going to be quite important. I've written support here, so I don't want Luna Classic to get back below here. It will all depend on Bitcoin, guys. We had some hype and stuff before and we didn't see a Luna Classic pump. But uh, this week, you know, with Bitcoin pushing up, we're having a nice little pump in Luna Classic. So that's what it depends on what Bitcoin will do and the whole wider crypto is going to do. But the Luna Classic chart is looking good from a short term point of view. I expect the price to go towards that 0 0.001 level around there again. So that was like the previous high. I'm not sure if we're going to cleanly break out this time. 
or are we going to load up or are we going to like quell like this and then break out so that's sort of my prediction for the next uh, few days to few weeks so i'm expecting higher prices if i had to say for next week am i bullish or bearish i'm leaning bullish so if you're looking to trade on the shorter time frames you can look to take long trades uh, targeting that 0.001 level i think that should be the target for the next few days and i think we're going to just chop around and then if bitcoin starts pumping then we can get the breakout above 0.01 that was the trade i shared last time so i took it long here i tried to take it long here but we did not break out and um, if we start breaking back above those levels i'll look to buy uh, some luna classic again if not um i'll probably just wait uh, i did buy some on the dip uh, this support level i tweeted when i bought some for now i'm expecting high to sideways breakout above 0.0001 with bitcoin strength i would look to buy more but that would be my short time frame prediction but higher time frame guys these levels are where you look to buy this is where potentially you know cryptos and bitcoins put bottom in but we need some of the uh, triggers some of the bull cases some of the bullish narratives to come back and the biggest narrative could be this ustc repeg plan so if we had some bullish news the price starts going up bitcoin starts going up that could start the potential fingers crossed bull market Thank you very much for watching this video, slightly longer video. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comment below. If there's anything you want me to cover on my next video, comment below. And let's see if we can get to 100 likes so I can give a $100 giveaway for Terra Casino for next video. So thank you very much. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys soon with another video. Thank you very much.